The exchange rate of the US dollar rose this morning, Wednesday, in the markets of Baghdad and in Erbil in the Kurdistan region. The dollar price rose with the opening of the al Kifa and al Harithiya stock exchanges, recording 152,300 Iraqi dinars for every $100, while yesterday, Tuesday, it recorded 151,850 dinars for every $100. Selling prices rose in exchange shops in local markets in Baghdad, where the selling price reached 153,250 dinars, while the purchase price reached 151,250 dinars for every $100. In Erbil, the dollar also recorded a rise in exchange shops, as the selling price reached 152,350 dinars against the dollar, and the buying price reached 152,250 dinars against $100. Oil prices rose in early trading on Wednesday, on concerns that the conflict in the Middle East could turn into a wider war and disrupt oil supplies from its main producing region after Iran fired ballistic missiles at Israel. Brent crude futures rose more than $1 to $74.56 a barrel, while U.S. West Texas Intermediate Crude rose 88 cents, or 1.26 percent, to $70.71 a barrel, down slightly from a rise of more than a dollar earlier in the session. Both benchmarks jumped more than 5 percent during trading on Tuesday. Israel said Iran fired more than 180 ballistic missiles at it yesterday in response to an Israeli campaign against Tehran's Hezbollah allies in Lebanon. Iran is a member of the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC, and a major oil producer in the region. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu vowed that Iran would pay a price for its missile attack on Israel, while Tehran said any response would be met with widespread destruction, raising fears of a wider war. U.S. President Joe Biden expressed the United States' full support for its ally Israel, and the UN Security Council scheduled a meeting on the Middle East for Wednesday. A ministerial panel of OPEC and its allies led by Russia, known as OPEC Plus, meets later today to review the market situation, with no policy changes expected. OPEC Plus is set to raise output by 180,000 barrels per day from December. U.S. inventory data was mixed, with crude oil and distillate inventories falling last week while gasoline inventories rose, according to figures from the American Petroleum Institute on Tuesday.